because famine isn't just a shortage of food. Although that is what's happening. The word of God speaks about what's happening today. The prophet Amos said that the day would come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. I'm telling you, I need to hear this today. My mom's in the hospital. She's in hospice. She's dying right now. Uh huh. I'm looking for cremation services. Bro, what's My you? brothers, they're not around. They don't want to do nothing. It's just me. I'm 18 years old. I don't know what to do. This is all I got. My boyfriend is helping me. Congratulations. And the things that you're saying right now in the street, I'm thinking about, I want to kill myself, but, but I'm not. Because why? Because God, you understand? I can't kill myself. God and spiritually, you know, I almost died from cancer when I was younger. I had leukemia. I was, they gave me six months to live and here I am, I'm standing there. And that's Jesus, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. But I just wanted to let you know that, that what you're saying is making an impact. It is. And I told him. Several people called the police on me earlier. That's Fuck crazy. Man. I know it is. And look how loud this intersection that's is. The so they said next time they come back, they're going to issue me a ticket. It's nothing. They can shove that yeah, ticket up the ride. What's your name, man? Yokus. Yokus? It's a blessing to meet you. Thank you for trusting in God and coming all this way. Yeah, we were. Oh, yes. You have a Bible? I do, I, at home. She, she that, bought me my first on one. Me. She bought me my first one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. What happened, Joey? Yeah, Yo, I'm going to give you, I'm gonna give you guys. Up. I'm wearing this. Hell yeah. Yes. Make sure you wear it this direction. Yeah, you're right. You know, with yeah. Jesus facing outward so that people yeah, can see his name. Yeah, you're the best, man. Yes, yes. Yeah. Jesus Christ is Lord. So. Yo, you got the whole, you got the whole gap. I love it. Yeah, I'm with a, a church called Soldiers for Christ. Oh, I really, I, I really need this. I really need this. Because we were, we were looking for a church, Probably but right. a lot of them aren't, aren't very good. My knows you, I think. Really? He's saying he knows you. He's on, yo, he hears you, he's on speaker. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the guy that was over there in the, the, the wall, that's my dream thing, preaching I met that day. Yeah. He was talking about, like, um, about God and I think First Peter, about how the Spirit is wow. inside you. I don't, I don't recognize the voice, but, yeah. um, yeah. FaceTime. Oh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot, forgot, I forgot. I forgot, yeah. But. Yeah. That, that's, I just wanted to say I really appreciate what you're doing because a lot of times you know you go to church and you don't even hear the, the, yeah, you the don't, word you of don't, God you don't hear all this in church you know what I mean yeah. they're afraid it's about money it's about things alright but I just, let me ask you something yeah you said you wanted to hurt yourself in the past do you still feel like that I wish if I could kill myself and go to heaven and I, if I didn't have to feel like Judas I would I'm going to be honest, that's how I feel. Don't worry, I'm not going to call the police on you no, or anything like that. I'm not, you know. I just want to know where you are right now as a person. She's what I'd like to call lost in the soup. She's like, um, you know how when you put crackers in the soup it kind of gets soggy? She's a little soggy right now. She's not lost. No, I know she's not You're lost. You're not lost. Like that sometimes. You see that right there? That's my problem. That is your problem. Because I depend on this more than I depend on God. You got a Bible at home. What type of Bible is it? It's a King James Version. It's the only one I read. What do you read? Same thing. Uh, yeah, right? Hey, that's what's up. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Jesus loves you so much. If you commit suicide, you're going to go to hell. You're not going to go to heaven. I know. Now listen. You are alive right now. And this man is, is wonderful. Has he been wonderful to you? Tell me now so I can get him. He has. And he's thirsty. He's thirsty <laughs> for the word of God. He wants to get baptized. He don't know where to get baptized. I know someone. Y'all do baptisms? Take down my number. Yo, please. Thank you. Please. Yes. We do baptisms. But I'm going to refer you to my pastor. Give us, give us both numbers. Yes, give yes. Us, give us everybody. 
Because we do. We need a church. We, we've he been needs to get baptized. He's thirsty for the word of Can God. Can I hit my number in your phone? Yeah, go That's ahead. Fine. Okay. We've been we've been looking for something for a while. Uh, we were looking on Google, but we couldn't find anything good. And then all of a sudden, we were driving. We were like, "Oh shit, we gotta we gotta talk to him." Yeah, I just felt that. I felt like I needed to talk to you. I don't know. Yes, the Holy Spirit wants you. Yeah. God wants you, but you must get out of this. Um, you must get out of. I'm gonna put my email information in here too. Go ahead, everything. Go ahead. Everything. Uh, you must get out of this suicide. You are going to live. Okay? You're going to live. I am. You're not going to kill yourself. You cannot kill yourself. No. Nope. You are stronger than that. You're looking at somebody who tried to kill himself before. I, I've been down that road. I know about it. You are living right now because you want to live. Ending your life brings nothing. It, it does not end the pain. It only begins it. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt the people. You're gonna hurt him. People. You're gonna hurt your mother, your father. I don't know if they're still alive right now. Your family. Whoever is family to you, whoever loves you, you're hurting them. Me and you work family. You understand what I'm saying? And you're hurting God in a way where you can't hurt God, but you're bringing sorrow. God loves you. You are His creation. Made you in his own likeness. It's not even about like like sadness or, or depression. It's more about there's nothing for me to do anymore. You know, I just feel like it's just so much problems on top of problems. Your phone. Just, what? You said you want my number. Oh yeah. I thought you were gonna dap me up. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I want to dap you up again, but I think what's uh, what Pastor. Now does, listen, um, you guys. If you want God, you have to stop sinning. God is holy. He is just. You can't enter into a relationship with Him while living in sin. You must surrender yourselves. You must surrender your will, your will, and make God your desire. I know. I, I got baptized in the name of Jesus. Right now. What church? Uh, I, it's in Queens. Queens. Okay, it's in Queens. Uh, I don't go there anymore. It wasn't really it. It was a good church, but now it's not so much because the pastor died, now it's the son. Uh -huh. And uh, he thinks women can preach, and, and I don't really agree with that. Um, oh, women can't be pastors. Yeah, I don't believe But that. they can preach, though. They can street preach. Yeah, yeah, but... They can't pastor, be they leadership can. over man. They tried to tell me that I could be a pastor. I was like, no, I, I can't be a pastor. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So and that's great really that you have that instilled in you, yeah. that truth, that... It's not that men dominate women. This is not that type of show here. Yeah, I know. There, there is a. Oh, They're your screen went stable. off. Oh, there They're you go. More oh. Closer there. and stable. Can you fix that, please? <laughs> no, yes. God, God does have favorites, and, and I don't feel any type. No, of no, no, way no. About that. God doesn't have favorites. God doesn't show favoritism. He loves everyone the same. No, he does. But like when you think about like uh like the Jewish, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like those who were originally his people, you know what I mean? And then he, he opened it up for the Gentiles as well. Yeah, the Jews rejected Jesus. Yeah. So God turned his attention to to the Gentiles. And um These people are so small, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to uh Don't like Yahoo. <laughs> Yeah, um, what we struggle with here is like uh, apathy, like it's just like feeling like there's nothing like coming, just like don't because, care. Because I'm living in fear, bro. I'm going to be honest, I'm living in fear. Uh -huh. I, I, my mom's in hospice, she's dying, there's nothing they can do about it. Uh -huh. She's fully paralyzed, she can't eat, she can't talk, she can't speak. But God can change that. And he, he can, but but what if what if that don't happen? You gotta have what faith. What am I gonna do? I don't faith. have a father. I don't have nobody to support. You do me. have a father. It's God. God is your father. Listen. Trust God. He loves you. He loves you. Okay? He does. When you get home, open the Bible. The word of God. This word of God here tells us how much God loves us. 
John 3.16 yeah. is what you need to look at when you feel sad. See? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, bad, bad, but have bad. everlasting life. Yeah. Remember this. This is how much God loves you. He went to the cross for you, not for you to kill yourself or think about killing yourself. That's Satan wants to kill you. Want you to think about killing yourself. That's Satan. That's the devil. That's your enemy. See me, I'm a soldier for Christ. I fought that fight. I won through Jesus Christ. I tried to kill myself all through my childhood. I ended up in psychiatric hospitals. But it was God that rescued me. God bless you. And I'm going to tell you right now, He can rescue you right now. You are a beautiful person. You are a strong person. God's going to give you the strength that you need. But you got to let go of that, yeah. that device. And you have to let go of the sin. That's fornication, idolatry, covenantsness, lying, stealing, whatever it is that's in your life right now that's separating you from God. You have to let go of it so that God can come into your life. That, that machine that you got, what is that? That's, uh, that's nicotine. A nicotine. Yeah, it's a big. Are you willing to let go of that? Listen, that's a form of idolatry. I know. It's a sin. I know. It can send you to hell, but God can forgive you and remove it. I have seen prostitutes get delivered in the name of Jesus. They no longer prostitute their body. I've seen drug addicts get healed. They no longer addicted to drugs. I've seen people who were suicidal no longer wanting to kill themselves. They want to live for Christ. I have seen people who were quote, quote, criminals. They no longer commit crime. They help people. They love people. God can change your heart. The question is, do you want it? Do you want it? God to come in and fill your life with joy, peace, and love. It's a Person. question. Person. If you want, if you want this, you have to let go of everything. You have to let go. So the question is, are you willing to let go? Because as soon as you begin to, as soon as the light begins to shine in you, it's going to shine at him. And then you guys are going to be bouncing off each other, reading the Bible together, praying together. That's what God wants. It's hard, the nicotine. So what's so hard about the nicotine? I take the shirt off my back before I throw away the nick because I'm stressed. I get angry. I got, I'm like emotionally unstable. And you know, this is the only thing, like I take a puff out of it. I feel better. It's like a cigarette, you know? When you smoke a cigarette. You, feel you see better. this? I'm not going to throw it. I just want to show you. See this? Y'all see this, right? Yeah. This is bondage. This is what's keeping you where you are right now. This is imprisonment. This is imprisonment. This cannot get you to heaven. It cannot save you. Just take a look at it. Someone designed this for the pleasures of your flesh. That's true. That's true. You gotta kill the flesh to live the spirit. Exactly. You right now can let go of this. You don't have to keep this. This cannot help you. I know you're not gonna let go of it overnight, but I can't take that from you and throw it because you'll go and get another one. That's why I, I'm honest. You know? But you I'm have. Even though as bad as I want to take that from you and throw it somewhere and just get rid of it, I know I can't do that because you'll find another one. You have to be convinced right now. I have to make the choice. Yes. I you have, have to, to make, make the it. choice. All I can do is show you exactly what that tool is. You smoke too? I just quit. Look at that. He just quit. I'm telling you, you are a beautiful person. This is the reason why Satan didn't want me here. He didn't want me here because he didn't want me meeting you and you. He didn't want me mean you guys. Now, what if I would have just hop up and left like that officer said? I would have never met you guys. You guys would have kept driving. You would have never thought about God. But now you're thinking about him. Now God is reaching you. He is knocking on the door 
of your heart right now. Right now. That paper I gave you. Look at this. The choice. I got more of them. Ooh, you're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. Heck yeah. <laughs> now listen, don't just take this just to read it and be like, nah, 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 nah. You got to really... Yo, you're the best. You got to really take this material and apply it to your life. Yes. This one right here, this one going to really make you think. You don't want to die. You want to live. I do. I Tell do yourself, wanna I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to live. live through God. Say it again. I don't want to die. I want to live. I don't want to die. I want to live. There, there you go. Internalize For who? It. For Christ. There you go. Yeah. There you go. For Christ. Christ. <clears throat> I want. I don't want to die. I want to live for Christ. Amen. You guys got such beautiful hearts. Satan is gonna come after you. He's coming after you. Yeah. He. He sees how high we are in, in with God, so he's gonna put us on priority list now. Exactly. Yeah. Because you met me, and you're listening, and you're hearing, and you want God. It's just you gotta struggle. You gotta struggle. Yeah. So what you do is you place. Your struggles, all your problems, and you put it in God's hands. My question is, you know how they say faith without works is dead? Uh -huh. and you got to do something. I, I'm constantly anxious. I feel like I got to do more, do more, do more. I'm doing everything right now. You could ask him. No, 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 no. The thing is, your works is basically your belief, your trust. Like, faith without works. So your faith is supposed to produce the works. Like, Amen. if I have faith in God, I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to care for the sick, care for the poor. That's what the scripture yeah, is saying. And you know what? I knew that. I remember my brother told me that before. And that's crazy how the devil gets to you and he blinds you like that. Exactly. Wow. He pulls the wool over your eyes. He really does. And he makes you forget everything that's important. What's your name? Yanni. 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 Turn the turn the Jesus thing around. You got it on backwards. Yeah, you got to face face it forward so people like, can see. Like that. Yeah, face. Oh. See, I got mines oh, facing okay. outward. And when you get married, you're gonna get this one right here. I love my wife. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ephesians five twenty five. When you get married, you're gonna get this one. My wife has the other one. It says, "I love my husband." That's cool. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So you see these cops right here? That's, that's the very same one that didn't want me here. He just drove right by. Yep. So they're always checking to see if I'm if I'm being too loud. That's what they care about. But you guys heard me today. Let's pray. Let's pray. Yes. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I uplift these two to you now. We come before your throne of grace and I uplift. I ask you, Lord, right now to come upon them and speak to them in, in their hearts. Come into their hearts and speak to them and lead them. Pour out your spirit upon them that they will desire life, not death, that they will turn away from sin and turn away, turn, turn, turn away from sin, turn away from the things that are not of you and turn to you. I ask you, Lord, right now to cover them to lead them that the moment that they walk away from here that they will walk to you by you by your word that they will go home and research the scriptures that are found in that material that i gave her and she will begin to live a life for you right now lord jesus i ask you heavenly father i thank you for sending them this way i thank you for 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 for, for them hearing your word that they could have died tonight but by your grace and mercy, they are going to live. I thank you, Lord, for delivering them to this area right now. I ask you, Lord, to care for them, to protect them, to guide them right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Let's man. do a repentance. Let's do a, a, a repentance. Let's, let's, let's repent of sin. Y'all guys ready? Sure. Hold on. Let me pull this out. This wrong book here. Repeat after me. All right. I'm going to tell you something. You guys standing here, you're going to restart your life for God. 
Okay? I'm going to tell you. God offers love, forgiveness, and restoration. If this fits you, then you must seek for repentance and restoration that can help you find renewed joy, hope, and life, which is only found in Jesus Christ. Do you believe that? Yes. Yes. You believe that with all your heart? Yes. You want to live for Christ? Yes. Amen. I have this written down because this is so much. All right, repeat after me. Close your eyes and lift your hands up like this. Lift your hands up like this. No, just put that stuff in your pocket. That's all. There you go. You guys are so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> this man is so beautiful here, man. All right. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Now repent of my sin. Now repent of my sin. Now stand before your throne. Now stand before your throne. Of grace. Of grace. Asking for forgiveness of my sin. Asking for forgiveness of my sin. Today. Today. With my own heart. With my own heart. Make sure you're repeating this. Today with my own heart. Today with my own heart. And mind. And mind. And soul. And soul. I commit myself to Jesus. I commit myself to Jesus. I declare that Jesus Christ. I declare that Jesus Christ is the sustainer of all life. Is the sustainer of all life. My heart is now tender. My heart is now tender. To your leading. To your leading. I now exchange. I now exchange. My temptations. My temptations. For the truth. For the truth. Taking my bad thoughts captive. Taking my bad thoughts captive. And confessing them before the throne of God. And confessing them before the throne of God. Today I. Today I confess my desperate need for Jesus Christ. Confess my desperate need for Jesus Christ. I believe. I believe. You promise. Promise. That if we confess our sin. That if we confess our sin. You will forgive us. You will forgive us. And make us clean again. And make us clean again. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Root out the darkness. Root out the darkness. And light up my life. And light up my life. With your presence. With your presence. I want to be filled. I want to be filled. Up. Up. Deep down. Deep down. Inside with the joy of Jesus Christ. Inside with the joy of Jesus Christ. May your restoration include new boundaries. May your restoration include new boundaries. Around my life. Around my life. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. And help me to speak truth. And help me to speak truth. In love. In love. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I trust you. I trust you. To give me hope for a new future. To give me hope for a new future. All of this I say with a contrite heart. All of this I say with a contrite heart. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name I pray, amen. God has made it absolutely clear to you today that there is no one else that there is no one who come before him under his terms that will be refused no one no race no color no country of origin regardless of any previous belief system no one no matter what your past sins have been, God can and will forgive you because he says he will. Salvation is available to the Indians. It is available to the Ukrainians. It is available to the white man, the black man, the Spanish man. Salvation comes from the Lord and it is available to everyone without any exceptions. If you put all your trust for salvation in Jesus Christ and only Him. You can follow that prayer by simply asking, Lord, I repent.